So then guys, really exciting news happening here at Mac Talk Set. I've moved into a brand new studio and I want to give you a brand new studio tour today, showing off some brand new bits and pieces I've got in here. I've got a brand new desk, what has been given to me by FlexiSpot, who is also sponsoring this video today. And I'll talk a little bit more about them a bit further on into the video. And also I've got a few other bits and pieces, some new equipment, including a new sofa, some new lights and a few other bits and pieces too. And I also want to talk about the future of this channel because this room that I'm in now is a temporary studio and I want to talk to you on what's going to be happening in the future with um, basically YouTube videos going forwards from this channel. So without further ado guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my iPhone and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the tour walking around with the iPhone, me talking behind it and first of all I think we might talk from what's going on behind me right here right now. So this is the shot what you normally see right behind me as I just mentioned. So what we have here, we do have the grey sofa and this sofa I'm going to be using going forwards to kind of record more sort of casual videos, talk you things, you know, talk things through with you about my thoughts, things like this. Probably not for comparisons or things like that, but for more kind of a casual kind of videos of what's going on in sort of the news or technology or Apple news right now. So I might be using that more often. But you might have noticed I've got my blue and sort of yellowy orange light here. These are the same colors I have on my YouTube channel right now as my sort of main theme colors. And also we've got this brand new board, what uh, I built, what's different to what I had before um, at the last uh, studio, my last property, in my last house. And as you can see, I've got some old relics as it were. I just want to go through some of these if you want to have a look. So here I've got a iPad Air, that's the first generation. That there's the first generation iPad mini, uh, what they created. Uh, down here, we've got some special ones as well. We've actually got the original iPhone. Let me just take this off here. That is the first generation iPhone I've got right there. I might actually make a video about that because it still works absolutely fine. I don't want to drop my iPhone. We've got an iPhone 6 Plus. We've also got an iPod Touch there. I think it's the fifth gen or something like that. Moving up, we do have some of the uh, first here, so we've got the iPod um, Mini, what was the first one? And most importantly, in the middle here, that is the first generation iPod, the original iPod there on display in the middle. And then that one there to the uh, far right is the first kind of Apple product I ever bought. In fact, it is the first Apple product I ever bought. And that is my iPod fifth generation. There's a story behind that as well. So I owned the fourth generation for literally about 18 hours and then got that one instead straight after. There's a story behind that. Uh, just below that though, we do also have a MacBook and this one here is literally the MacBook. This is the one that came out in 2015. Great design, but had a lot of flaws in it with like the butterfly keyboard. Um, there's a few other things that went a bit wrong with it. But it's on display here. We've got a first generation iPod, the original, not iPod, so iPad. So that's the first ever iPad that was created there. And then we've got a few other bits and pieces here. We've got the first iPod Nano, second generation iPod Nano iPhone 4 and iPhone 4S. There it is as well. There's the first generation um, sort of iPod as well. I think it is, or well, it's the third, I can't remember. I do I have the first one somewhere else. And there is also my Palak I was also given. We've also got an iPhone uh, 10 um, up there, or the X, and then also I think that's an iPhone 6S as well on display. So that will be always behind me. I do have some other bits and pieces what I am gonna show, and you might see that in upcoming videos. So let's just swing the camera around then to what you see here. Like I said, I've got some French doors, not gonna be used anymore but this is my desk that I am using and this desk is a little bit special as well because it's a brand new desk what I've just been given this desk has actually been given me to me by FlexiSpot and this is the E1L desk and it's absolutely amazing it's a large sort of uh, corner desk and it's also it can be a standing up desk as well and I'll demo to that in a second but I really really love it it fits my monitor on there I've also got my uh, MacBook Pro there uh, but it's my 16 inch one and that's got my M1 Max chipset inside it. And then also here I've got a monitor too. This monitor here is a 32 inch monitor. It's from Samsung, it's called the M8. It is a 4K panel and you're probably wondering, you know, why don't I have a Apple one? Well, I just prefer this monitor, funny enough. Um, I do like Apple monitors and I might get one in the future, but for the moment I am actually liking this Samsung one. But having said that, I do have a actual keyboard here from Apple and this one here is the Space Gray one. This actually comes from an iMac 
Pro, what came stop coming out about six months ago, a year ago or so. And then also I've got my uh, Logitech mouse to do my editing and everything, my MX3. So I absolutely love this mouse. I actually do prefer it to an Apple mouse. I have to say that to the Magic Mouse. Um, it is far better for definitely editing and things like that, in my opinion. I've also got some batteries on charge here. These are my cameras and lights and things like this. And also my dock too. If you're wanting to know, my actual uh, MacBook is plugged in by a single USB-C cable. You won't be see at the back there coming out and that goes into my dock over here and then that basically controls everything what I can plug into this. I've also got a hard drive at the back there at the moment for all my data on it at the moment, all my backups and everything. However, that is going to be changing very, very soon. If you look down here on the floor, I've actually got a QNAP um, NAS here or storage container and this thing here has got actually 80 gigabytes or 80 terabytes or 80 gigabytes or 80 terabytes of storage inside it. I need to get that set up fairly soon and that's going to be my sort of main editing machine. Um, it's got a 10 gigabit um, ethernet on the back and I've got some adapters and things like that uh, on the floor what I'm going to use with the MacBook Pro and also my Mac Studio what's in storage at the moment what's away. I do need to get that out as well onto my desk. A few other bits and pieces. I've got my main microphone here, Blue Link uh, One. I really, really love this one. I've also got an Amazon um, Echo there. It's a five inch one. You're probably wondering why I don't actually have the um, Apple one. I'm just gonna be honest, I prefer um, having Alexa than to having Siri. That's my honest opinion. I've got my iPhone 13 Pro Max still sitting there. A few other bits and pieces there. I've actually got one of the lights that I use sometimes. And that there is a bit grubby. But there is the most expensive cloth you'll find in the world, an apple cloth. So I've got one of them. I might actually make a video about one of them because I've actually got a few of those in stock um, at the moment. But I also just want to talk a little bit more about this desk that I've been given here. This is a desk from FlexiSpot and like I said they are sponsoring today's video and this one is called the E1L desk and the reason why the L I think it stands for large or either stands for basically being an L shaped desk as you can see here and I really absolutely love it. I've only had it a few weeks here and if you want to check it out do look in my description but the main reason why I love this desk so much is that it was really easy to put together as you can see here with the assembly it was nice and easy uh, instructions fully provided and everything and it was really really awesome to put together it only took me about 20 minutes to assemble this whole desk i did have to have my partner help me a little bit because some of it's a bit heavy and a bit large but overall it was really really cool and the main reason why i love this desk is it's electronic and it can be adjusted i have sort of two heights programmed in one of the heights is at the moment what's set i think it is is what kind of the height i work at um editing my videos like that but the other height if i press number two it's gonna make some noise here it will raise the desk right up in the air and I programmed this in to be at this certain height. You'll see here, it'll stop in a second. There we go. And the main reason why I programmed it to be this height is because of this. This here is the Flexi Spot desk chair, or the desk bike, I think it is, and it's the V9. And this is great as well. I've been using this to do some exercise with it. Uh, I've been sitting on it at my desk, uh, editing my videos, burning off some extra calories because video editors like myself and a few others out there, you know, people who work at desks, you're just not burning off calories like if you were like a builder or a teacher walking around or things like this. You're just not burning off calories. So, you know, sitting at a desk all day is not good. It's really cool that this desk is really high up and you can stand as well so I can stand and edit but I also do like it that I can actually do some exercise at the same time just sitting while working I've got like a cup holder there to keep my water in I can change all my settings as well how you know intense I want it if I just want it like a spinning bike or if I want it a bit more going uphill a bit more strain on it so yeah it's really 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 cool kind of bike that um, flexi spot here the v9 I'm just going to lower the desk down here, but something else I just want to uh, mention is I do actually have another desk that was given to me, and that desk was called the E8, and you can see it right here, the assembly for it, and that was really, really cool to assemble as well, and my wife, she's been quite lucky to have this desk, and again, if you want to have this kind of smaller desk uh, that you can see here, do check out the description in my video here, because um, there's some great links to uh, FlexiSpot and their desks, and also for that V9 bike that you can see right here. But let's continue on then with the tour. So as you can see here, you're probably wondering what this pole is here. Well, that has actually got my main camera. I do most of my recording on at the moment, recording on my iPhone. But uh, this camera here, if I'm right, I think this is the ZV um, E10. Yep, that is right. Uh, I can't remember half the Sony names cameras, but this is my main kind of recording camera. It's a 4K camera. It does the trick. Uh, you can change the lens out if I wanted to do that. And I use this as my main sort of primary recording camera for myself. Also got a light there on the tripod. 
and also I think you can see on the back there I do have another light there if I did have to um, use that too but the camera I absolutely love this Sony camera it is a mirrorless one and it's a great camera to use um, to do all my recording but I am hoping to upgrade this Sony camera to another Sony camera again a mirrorless one I do like the new FX series the cinematic cameras so I possibly might invest in getting one of them very very soon so that's my main kind of cameras that I use I record everything in this put a battery in uh, SD card and obviously that SD card gets put into my MacBook Pro as you can see they're sticking out right now also got a backup SD card there as well sitting underneath my monitor uh, moving along there, let's have a look what else we've got I've got a little bit blurry there let's straighten up the camera this here this desk is my main kind of review desk or showing you a tour guidebook sort of uh, desk so as you can see here right now I do have some of my iPads on here I've got my iPad mini and there we go and there's another tripod there to record looking down onto these desks to do that kind of recording so yeah that's a really good desk uh, this desk is also a fold out desk so I can just drop the leaf down if I wanted to give myself a bit more space in the studio so that is really really cool as well I do really really like that but the desk can also be expanded out speaking about expanding out it does expand out the other way too so if I do need something even bigger than that I can do that as well so yeah that is really really cool so let's move along then I've got a cupboard here like I said this is the temporary uh, studio so yeah the door's not in the best shape and everything so it is going to be replaced I'm going to be going into a, a, another room but I'm going to talk about in a minute but let me show you what's inside this cupboard this is kind of my little um, sort of Aladdin sort of cave as it were as you can see here I've got a stack of uh, MacBooks uh, all stacked up there from all different ages even some of the most recent ones as well we've got an Apple monitor at the back there's 27 inch uh, one I think that was the uh, Thunderbolt 2 uh, monitor that I've got there a few other bits and pieces a few other boxes or things like that iPhone stacked up and everything lots and lots of cables but this is where I store it also got another microphone to record with as well and also of course my lightsaber is down there too so yeah that is a really really cool little thing that's why I keep all my sort of bits and pieces for recording all into this cupboard so generally that is the main studio the only one thing I would also say that I've also got in the studio is my lighting above here this is an LED lighting um, so, and it's really good I can actually change the color modes for it so this is really useful to doing recordings with so I've got it kind of like a cool white I can take it to like an orange so that's my phone picking it up here I can have it a bit more of a brighter white and then back to the cool light that I've got right here I'm not sure that's picking it up and also I can put a LED ring around as well there we go and uh, that will change color as it goes around there we go changing color so yeah I really really do love that light too that's pretty cool and effective but as I said guys this is going to be my sort of temporary studio for the next sort of six months and let me tell you about my future plans and I'm going to return back to my desk and I'm going to tell you what's going to be happening in the future with Matt Talks Tech well, that's a tour of the studio, guys. I hope you do like it. Like I have said, guys, this is a temporary studio. And the reason why it's a temporary studio, I've just moved into this house and it's a lovely house I've moved into with my family. And basically one of the plans is that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna build an extension in this house. So it's gonna be kind of off to this side of me at the moment. And what's gonna happen is there's gonna be an actual room purpose built for my actual studio needs. Right now, believe it or not, I'm actually in the, um, house's dining room so this used to be the dining room in this house and I've converted it into a studio and um, what's going to happen with that kind of extension everything's going to be updated everything's going to look nice so that's why you can see like in the corner over here that sort of door is quite old school that's like one of the original doors I think that came in the house when it was built in the 1960s because that's how old this house is so everything's going to be modernized and updated there's no point in us updating these bits and pieces until we have our extension built and that extension guys I can reveal to you now is looking to be built towards kind of sort of March, April, May time next year. So hopefully videos kind of round about WWD side to sort of time 2023 I'm hoping to be in the new studio to do some of my videos then and then obviously for the launch of the next generation iPhone and all the most sort of sort of Apple equipment which comes out around about this time next year September October time all of that will be filmed in the brand new studio so it's really really exciting times and what I might also do for you guys is I might actually give you guys a bit of a tour of when the actual studio is being built showing you how it's going on with the development with that if you do want to see that let me know in the comments below if you do want to see that as well at the same time 
time as we go along with that. But generally speaking, guys, I am going to be making more videos, much more sort of face to face, sort of face to camera sort of videos with you guys going forward. I am still going to be making my animation news videos too, but you will see more of this face, unfortunately, or maybe that's a positive. You can determine it any way you want to. But guys, it is also time to wrap up this video. But I just want to say again, a massive thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Like I said, if you do want to check out those decks and also that bike that I've been given, do check it out in the link below in the description because they are awesome desks and they're really easy to assemble. And I might actually even do a review of the desks, a dedicated one a bit further on in the next week or so um, for that. So do keep an eye out for that too. And as I said, guys, it's time to wrap up the video. So yeah, if you have enjoyed watching it, as I said already, please do like the video. And also at the same time as well, if you want to hear the latest news or Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.